My name's Thomas, and me and my father have been eBay sellers for four years. We sell 40 to 50 items a week and have over 5,000 sales on record. But why is that information important? It is important because today we are going to be giving out the tricks to the trade, our eBay secrets, information that people would pay for, we are going to be giving it out for free. So whether you are new to selling on eBay or an intermediate seller or an advanced eBay seller, there will be something for everyone in this video. So make sure you stick tuned all the way because this will be a valuable video for you. We will not only be showing items you can buy for a cheap price and sell for tons of money, but we will also be showing items that you will not be able to keep in your store because they will sell too fast. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. We're going to start off by giving some love to the new sellers. This next item is something you can buy cheap pretty much every time you see it and flip it for a profit. Maybe paying a dollar and flipping it for 50 or even more. You never know. And that item is plate sets. Selling sets of plates is one of the things that kickstarted my eBay store. I could get them for a dollar, two, five dollars and sell them for 50, 60 or even more. In fact, we're still selling plate sets. We sold $600 in plates this week. Lennox Eternal is the plate set in question today. We got it from a storage unit and I cannot keep it on the shelf. Some other names you should look out for is Wedgwood, uh, Tiffany, Limogues, Pottery Barn, Spode. All these are pretty good names, but make sure you Google Lens them before selling them just to make sure you got a good deal. Next up for the new sellers, one of my favorite things that I always buy when I go to estate sales, yard sales, is brass and bronze sculptures, figures, anything. Brass and bronze is a great seller. When looking for brass and bronze collectible things, you should look for older stuff. Mid-century antique would sell a lot better than anything modern. In fact, we sold two bronze candle holders the other day for over $200. Not only there's some great profit to make, but it is easy to ship. And that is my favorite part. When you sell something for a huge profit and it's easy to ship, it's so nice. I'll put some examples up on the screen of brass and bronze collectible items that I think would be great to sell. Older is better in my opinion. I try to stay away from made in China brass and bronze collectible things, but for the most part, it's always a pretty decent seller for me. But now let's jump over to the advanced sellers. I've got a bolo item for you that if you can buy it, you will not be able to keep it on the shelf. I found eight of this item in a storage unit and I've sold every single one. In fact, one sold for $200. Are you ready for this? Tyco slot cars. They're little racing cars that go on tracks. They're no bigger than my finger. And you could sell them for 40, 30, 40, 30, 200 for if you get a rare one for a little car. That is a bolo if I've ever seen it. So keep an eye out for Tyco slot cars. And now we're going to jump to a general category of crystal. Baccarat, Lalique, Waterford, Swarovski. I'm going to show you some of these pieces just for example. I just can't turn these things up when I see them because they sell quick, they sell hot, they're valuable, expensive pieces. Here's a little Swarovski piece. You have to familiarize yourself with them because these are things that you do not want to turn up, especially antique stuff like this antique Baccarat box. That's probably $400 right there. And then coming over, Lalique. Once you memorize these things and you see them, if you can get them for a good deal, they will flip and turn over quick. So don't miss out on these kind of pieces. Leak, Waterford, Baccarat, Swarovski, you just can't keep your hands on these kind of things. So if you see it, it's in good condition. Condition is everything. You can pretty much know you're gonna sell it eventually. Now moving on to another item that a lot of people might not expect to have a lot of value is vintage magazines. For example, I found some old WWE and some old rock and roll magazines in a storage unit and I sold the rock and roll ones for 240 and the WWE magazines for $2. $200. And not only did they sell for that much, but they sold fast. Like I posted them, they were gone the same day. And the funny thing is the condition wasn't even too good on these. A lot of them had damage, they had papers missing, but they still sold for a ton of money. So keep an eye out for this kind of stuff. Google lends it and make some money. Now, another item that is commonly missed is fishing lures. Some vintage wooden fishing lures can be tons of tons of money. Heaton, Creek Chub, 
Fluger, those are some really good brands you should look out for. Very often you'll go to an estate sale or a yard sale and there'll just be a tackle box with a set price in the tackle box. There could be thousands and thousands of dollars in that tackle box and you wouldn't know unless you knew this stuff. So do some research and make some money. Now, moving on to one of my favorite sellers, an item you could sell in virtually any condition and people will still buy it, and that is knives. A lot of knives can be worth some serious money. In fact, we recently found three swords in a storage unit worth over $2,000. We've been offered 850 bucks for just one sword. There's some Kershaw swords. I'll put them up on the screen. They were amazing. This is, this is insane. Oh, we get a box. We get a box. We have a box. There's a few boxes. Oh my gosh. No way. What are these? What are these? Let's open this first one. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh. What oh. is this? Oh my gosh. Look at this sword. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out. I'm trying to get it out. Look at this thing. How much do you think this costs? I have no idea. They're made in Spain. This is made in Spain. And I was so happy to find them. But not only does Kershaw make swords, they also make knives and their knives are pretty expensive, often selling for over $300 a piece. Some great knife brands to look out for are Buck, K-Bar, Randall, and even Charade sells for a lot of money sometimes too. Now, moving on to another item that is often not associated with being sold on eBay is kitchen stuff, stainless sets, knives, pots and pans. These things sell really well on eBay. Cafalon, All Clad, Le Creuset, some pots and pans can sell for over $100. And that's not even getting into the older ones, especially Griswold. Some Griswold pots and pans can sell for over thousands of dollars because they're rare and collectible items. So if you're out and about, wherever you are, estate sale, flea market, thrift store, flip up those pans, read the bottom side, Google them, look them up because there could be some serious money just sitting right under your nose. And majority of the time, these things are fast sellers. For example, I found some really nice pots and pans in a storage unit that were brand new. I listed eight pots and I sold eight pots in the same week. These things are fast sellers and they will make you some money. Now moving on to another big seller and that is perfume. People like what they like and if what they like goes discontinued or is out of stock, they're gonna turn to eBay to find it wherever they can. I just sold a $400 perfume bottle the other day that I found from an estate sale. I paid a hundred bucks, sold it for 402 days. Talk about some great profits. But one thing that is very important is perfume can go bad. If it's been in a hot storage unit, then you probably don't want to sell it because if they use it, it might not smell right and you'll be getting it right back to your eBay store. Now we're going to talk about an item that you can often get for a cheap price because it's easily, easily missed. And that is costume jewelry. Vendome, Miriam Haskell, Coro, Weiss, those are just some names of some costume jewelry that can sell for over hundreds and hundreds of dollars. In fact, there's been many times where I would pay pennies on the dollar for a costume jewelry piece that sells for over two, three hundred dollars just because it's so easily missed. A lot of the time, people don't think there's much value in costume jewelry because there's no precious metals, but that is not the case. Estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, you can make some serious money if you know your stuff. In fact, I'm about to show you one item that I paid just a few dollars for, which is worth two hundred dollars and it is a costume necklace would you think this is worth two hundred dollars because i bought it and i didn't think it was worth two hundred dollars but i thought it was worth at least twenty but it's worth two hundred dollars <laughs> keep an eye out for costume jewelry because it's expensive and it can sell and another big seller you can often get for cheap is books a lot of books can hold some serious value especially college books really old Bibles can be expensive. Whenever you see college books or any kind of school books, make sure you double check the value, pull out your phone, Google lens it, because sometimes it can be over $100 for one book. And usually they sell quick because people need them, and especially if you price them well. A lot of times when you go to yard sales or estate sales, they don't pay as much attention to the books because people don't normally associate books with high value, especially when they're going quick and they're just trying to get rid of stuff. But if you know what you're doing and you spend the time to research them, you can make some big money. Now moving on to one of my favorite things to sell, and that is anything nautical, sculptures, figurines, sea clocks, anything relating to boats, ships, or sea life. It usually does pretty good nautical stuff as a good seller on eBay, so keep an eye out. I'll put up some examples of nautical stuff that I've sold so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you found this video informative. I hope this video will help make you some money. If you have any questions, please put them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.